All right, so we're gonna go over how to set up your flipping your flipping deal. Um, I guess we'll start off with the rod and rail. Just pretend that this is the right equipment because I don't have the right stuff. Um, you're gonna want a fast gear ratio, like a seven three to one, or even higher, um, something like that. So you can really, because you, you, you're gonna be making a lot of pitches, and you're gonna want to be be able to pick up that slack quick, and especially when you get a big big fish bite and a bunch of um, muck, you want to be able to get their head coming your way before they can dig down and really start causing some problems for you. Um, and then you're going to want at least a medium heavy rod. This is just a medium action and this is a 6 to 1 gear ratio. You know, so this isn't really the ideal flipping setup. Um, and then you want to get going to get you some sunline. Um, this is the super fluorocarbon. I use this because I'm on a budget. But if you can afford it, I would say get either you know something like the FC Sniper or the Shooter. 20 pound test generally um, depends upon how thick the cover is that you're flipping. Um, but yeah, so that'll that'll do you right for the rod reel and um, and line. You know, you can even go up to braid if you really need to, depending upon how thick the cover is and everything. Just a moment here. Um, and so then we'll we'll go off with with what I use for my flipping setup. So I use these little bobber stops from VMC or um, they actually they come with the Swaggle Tackle Company. Um, the they actually come in the flipping weights. They come with the uh, the bobber stop. So I actually think these are some of those. So you do is you stick your line through the the little metal metal ring they give you, and then you pull that bobber stop up. And so that stops your weight from going. If you can if you can go unpegged, that's the ideal thing to do is to not have this on there. But um, if the cover's sort of thick and you're trying to really punch through the cover, you're going to have a problem with your, your, your weight's going to jump through, but your bait's going to be sitting up there at the top, on top of all that cover. So when you peg it like that, it makes sure that the whole rig goes right through to the bottom, which is exactly what you want. So then you're going to open up your box and take one of these. These are a half ounce Swagger Tackle Company flipping weights. And what's really great about these Swagger Tackle Company weights is they have that weight imprinted right on the side so you know exactly how much weight you use you don't have to have different compartment compartments so if you look down here in my compartment I'm able to put all my different weights in there um, because they have they have this they all they're all marked with what they need to be marked with so you slide your, your line through the weight and then another key for Fitzgerald rods the flipping bead get a pack of these for yourselves they make your bait hang straight they give you a little bit more clack some more noise more drawing power which is you know what we all want so that's it's going to be that part of the rig and then um so i'm going to be flipping a christy craw watermelon or no green pumpkin excuse me and i'm going to take one of these three aught vmc flipping hooks and so what you're going to do is you're going to point it down like that put that line up you're going to make yourself a loop up top and what i'm trying to do see that kink in the line from where I put the uh, the bobber stop on you want to make sure it's past that you don't want that kink in your line or you could you know you're risking losing a big fish because your lines already weak before you start so you make that that loop there you want to pinch that loop it's gonna be kind of like right horizontal or vertical parallel I don't know what the word is but like right up like that and then you're gonna wrap around the shank of the hook Now, I got a lot of lines, so I'm going to just clip a little bit to make it hard to see. There we go. So, and then you got this keeper here. You don't want to go underneath your keeper. You want to go right on top of the keeper. And so depending upon, you know, how much time you got, you want to, you want to do at least five, six, seven turns and make sure that that's on there good. Because just like with any other knot, the knot's the weakest connection between you and the fish. So you want to make sure you do everything in your power to get it right. Oh, that'll have to. So once you're satisfied, you got enough wraps, you hold it tight, and you put it through that loop you made. And then you can pull it. And now whenever you pull that line up, that line is going to just pull tighter and tighter so you don't need to now you don't need to cinch it down or nothing 
clip your tag in just a little bit there. And now, push down your bobber stop and your weight, and you see that. You get that good angle, and so when you set that hook, that thing's gonna come right up where you want it to, right in that fish's mouth, popped up like that. Give yourself a little bit of space, and you go on your bait, go right through. do some flipping and you notice how that bank that bait hangs nice and straight with that Fitzgerald flipping bead you hear that little clack that thing will start catching you a lot of fish